There's nothing quite like watching movies and videos together in the same room, but the next best thing is to watch videos with friends online. Here's our list of the best apps and websites that will let you do just that. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to watch videos and movies with friends online. It's always great to get together with friends or family and hunker down on the couch to watch a movie or binge the latest must-see TV. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to get everyone in the same room together. Luckily, there are a number of services that allow you to enjoy your favourite online content like Netflix and YouTube in sync, no matter where you are. So whether you're in a long-distance relationship, moved away from home or just want to stay connected with friends around the globe, you'll definitely want to check out this list. Sync Play Multi-platform and compatible with all the biggest video player apps out there, including VLC, KM Player and Media Player Classic, Sync Play is a free tool that allows you to sync up video streams with friends. You need to have the movies you want to watch stored locally on your hard drive, but once you've set up Sync Play, it's just a case of you and your friends saying ready to watch and hitting the play button. Either person can pause and rewind the stream, and it's a great way to get the comfort of using your favourite video player while watching movies together. Watch Together. With Watch Together, watching videos online with friends in real time is fairly straightforward. There's no registration required. All you need is a temporary nickname. To get started, simply click the Create a Room button on its home page, type in your temporary nickname, and it will bring you to a video and chat room where you can start adding friends to chat. You have the option to either invite your own friends to a room that you created, or join a room that's already in operation and become part of a viewing party and conversation. The nice part about Watch Together is that you have the choice to select or search video sources from either YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion or audio from SoundCloud. Gaze. If your streaming platform of choice is YouTube, then Gaze might be just what you're looking for. Using Gaze is incredibly simple. One user creates a room and sends the link to the room to another person. That's it. Both parties can then immediately start streaming videos in sync. Unfortunately, Gaze can only be used with two parties simultaneously. Whilst this might be perfect for a long distance date night, if you intend on inviting more than one person, you'll want to look at some of the other services on this list. In addition to streaming YouTube videos, Gaze also allows you to sync local files as well. Just be aware that in order to do this, both parties need to have the file you want to watch on their computers. Unfortunately, there are a number of websites that allow users to send large files free of charge. Link in the description. Cast. Cast differs from a lot of the other services mentioned on this list in that it's not limited to only syncing video streams. Instead, Cast allows users to essentially share a browser. This enables users to sync all sorts of content across multiple devices remotely. While syncing videos from Netflix or YouTube may be the initial draw, Cast can also sync games, documents and more. Getting up and running with Cast is a breeze. Simply head over to Cast's website and start a session. From here, simply navigate to whatever you want to synchronise through Cast's browser within a browser. To invite friends to a Cast session, simply send the room's URL. While in a room, users will be able to chat with each other in real time via text or video. Furthermore, Cast allows users to not only see the same thing at the same time, but will also allow different users to take control with the click of a mouse. Additionally, Cast has a Chrome extension available that makes the process even easier. Netflix Party Netflix Party is a browser extension exclusive to Chrome. It allows users to synchronise Netflix video playback on multiple computers. Since it only needs to be installed on one computer, it's probably one of the easiest to set up. Once you install the extension, navigate to Netflix and choose a film or TV show to watch. Once it loads, Pause your video and click on the red NP button in the top right of your browser window. This will generate a unique link that you can send to other people. Those folks will be directed to your room where they can watch your video in sync with you. Furthermore, Netflix Party allows users to engage with each other with a simple text chat interface. The biggest advantage to Netflix Party is that only one person needs to have the extension installed. This means that people who don't have a Netflix subscription can still be invited to participate in your room. However, there is one glaring downside. Since Netflix Party is a browser extension, in order to use it you'll have to watch your videos through Chrome. This means that everyone is going to be forced to huddle around their computers. Sync Video If privacy is what you're after, Sync Video is the one for you. Sync Video was certainly created with a bit more privacy in mind as it allows you to watch your videos online with friends for free. 
Here a temporary nickname is not allowed. Registering for this free service is a requirement. The upside of all this is that once registered, you're gifted with your own private permanent virtual room. You may return to this room each time you want to use the service and invite friends to watch videos online with you. Vimeo and YouTube videos may be added and saved to playlists and watched by you and your friends in your virtual room at any time. You may also create new rooms or create a new nickname at any time. This negates the issue of the omnipresent internet trolls that could potentially venture into your virtual space, intruding on your privacy of you and your personal friends. You may invite your friends to your room at any given time by clicking invite on the upper right side of the page. You do have the option to make your room public if you choose, although most do not choose this option with sync video. My Circle TV. This one is big in that it incorporates VOIP capabilities. My Circle TV brings to the forefront the key feature of free voice chat while watching the videos online with friends. Many people crave and seek this as a characteristic when choosing the next big thing in telecommunication services, especially when it's a no-cost solution. My Circle TV allows groups of friends to enjoy hours upon hours of free voice chatting while watching videos online with friends. Friends may be invited via a variety of ways including Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and email. There's no registration requirement on My Circle TV, but once registered you'll be up and running watching free videos online with friends. Videos from Dailymotion, Vimeo and YouTube may be shared in these voice chats. As an added bonus, 5 gigabytes of video may be uploaded to a custom user space in the following video formats. MP4, H.264, AVC, MPEG 4, Part 10 for the video and AAC for the audio and even FLV. There are some differences between having a registered and non-registered account, including the following. 5 gigabytes space for video uploads to MyCloud Storage, user profile, history of invitations. Plex VR. Plex VR takes syncing video to a whole new level. Instead of simply sharing a screen, Plex VR allows you to share a virtual loft apartment, drive in theatre, or creepily barren void with your friends and loved ones. In these virtual spaces, you'll be able to chat with your friends and watch videos sourced from one of the users' Plex media libraries. Videos are synced so that all users experience the video simultaneously. However, users are able to independently change the size and the position of the screen to suit their preferences. Finally, to top it all off, everyone has a cute Duplo-like avatar representing them in the room. Plex VR is the most complicated way to share streaming content with friends remotely and potentially the most expensive. In order for all this to work, all participants must have Google Daydream, Gear VR or Oculus Go compatible hardware. And the price of entry for that is quite <laughs> severe, can be quite severe. So, what is your favourite way to watch synchronised video with friends and family in far off places? Let us know in the comments. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.